so the thing that really inspired me to do this was that it was something that wasn't there. There wasn't a, a, a better tonic or a tonic as to what the original tonic was. So when I came across this recipe and developed it and I kind of looked back uh, historically as to what the original stuff was, that's what I was going for is the original tonic that they used. What I'm using is the tree bark. I don't extract anything. It, people will often ask me how much, you know, uh, quinine per gram is in the stuff, and I really don't know because I'm not extracting it. It's, I'm just using what is in the tree bark. So it's more about the botanicals and the flavors and the balance that the tree bark offers. I just really relied on the uh, botanicals and the flavor profile from the tree bark, the chincona tree or the quinquina tree, whichever one you want to use. Uh, and that added all these really secondary botanicals and these spices and all these things that I don't add to the tonic. It's inherent in the bark though. And it was there. I mean, it was just literally like, aha, uh -huh, there it is. You know, so uh, went forward with it. I served it in a in the bar that I put it together for. Uh, people kept saying you should bottle this and sell it. I said no way. That's way too much work. And two years later, I incorporated and started bottling it. And that will be six years ago this coming April.